Hello, welcome to another one. So, Prophet Kobas van Rensbeck uh, is one uh, of uh, the great ministers of the gospel that we have had from Southern Africa. He was a prophet and uh, he is popularly known for his association with uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. He is also known um, for being mentioned in several sermons by Apostle Joshua Sermon as he regards him as a mentor and uh, a person who imparted on him various spiritual gifts, the gifts of healing, revelation, and all those things. So, um, Prophet Angel is one minister who was also invited to Prophet Koba's ministry, where he prophesied, and uh, a lot of miracles were wrought, miracle money, and all those things. So, he's saying that there is this particular thing that he did not agree with Prophet Koba's, and he feels that it was actually a mistake. Why? Because revelation is progressive, and this is what he learned as a result of that. Let's get into the video. Cobas ministered on we should not die. I opposed him. I couldn't understand the revelation. I was like, uh uh. We, we should die. Because my intention was by God, I knew he would die. But I had not looked at what he was there doing. What he was doing was simply to stand as a messenger to show the church you can actually live forever if you wanted to. I didn't get it. Me as a prophet, I didn't get it. Some of you don't tell others your mistakes. I, that was my mistake. I stood on his pulpit and told him, we'll receive if that is true if you live forever, but you will die. Oppose the man on his pulpit. That was very wrong what I did. Did he die? Yes. Was I correct that he would die? 100%. Was I correct to correct him? No. Because he's, he was being sent by God to open a season. And by me opposing him, I had proven that that season needed to be opened. Now when you look in the scriptures and the Bible says we suffer and die daily so that you don't have to die. Uh -uh. The apostle says we, we, we are dying so that you don't even need to die. Apostle Paul in heaven when he hears that a, a general has died, he's disturbed. Because he says we are, we are troubled here and die daily so that you Christians don't die. And we think it's spiritual. Holding funerals as Christians is not supposed to be so. So you hate it, guys. Love him or hate him. This is what makes me love the prophet more and more. It's because when he makes mistakes, he actually talks about it and he shares about it. And I'm actually glad because uh, even from the message or the video that I did about Apostle uh, Johnson Suleiman, where he said he made a mistake to oppose Prophet T.B. Joshua, Prophet Angel also, also made this video not as a as a result of Apostle Suleiman's message, but this, this video was like many weeks or days ago. So it's actually a sign that when you actually grow in maturity as a believer, as a, as a Christian, you then tend to t let people learn from your mistakes. So I believe, um, I also believe the message of um, that uh, Prophet Cobb has shared on immortality. I don't know, you may also have some things that you with some reservations on those uh, messages, but I actually believe it. Um, my man of God, Pastor Chris, shares on that also. Um, it's biblical. If you have a contrary opinion, you can share your, your thoughts in the comment section. Let's talk about it. I also share a link of my WhatsApp group where we may discuss on such issues. So I'll meet you in another one. God bless you.